All right, it's time for Financial Focus with our analyst, Steve Buden. And we've got a number of things to talk about. First, the MGM Springfield. It's so funny because sometimes, you know, it's not in front of us. Right. And all of a sudden right. you're like, what? Another property? Yeah. When you and I were looking at this. It's really boutique -y, I want to say. Like, kind of goes with the territory and surroundings. Yeah. And there you see it. I, yeah. I think it's great for the, uh, for the local gaming companies because it just gives us another market to get into. And, you know, a lot of our gaming companies will cross market. So yeah. hopefully, incidentally, the NBA Hall of Fame is in Springfield, Massachusetts. Oh, okay. So you can go visit the NBA Hall of Fame mm -hmm. and then go to the casino. Right. But I know Wynn is building one as well. I drove by it when I was in Boston recently. So it's good for these Vegas, uh, Nevada-centered uh, companies mm -hmm. to branch out, diversify their holdings a little bit, and then you can get those uh, visitors coming to Vegas. Yeah, and it's usually like, you know, whether there's the Dubai and the Macau and all that, but uh, MGM now has this one, and they opened the National Harbor one as well, so a lot yeah. more popping up in the United States. Yes, and I know the one in Springfield will have free parking. Oh, that's good to know. <laughs> <laughs> that's it, I'm driving there. Just yes, so right, I can park that's free. right. right. <laughs> Just On kidding. principle. <laughs> All yeah. right, well, consumer sentiment has dropped, and yeah. uh, this affects people and thinking twice about those big ticket purchases. So you're right. saying, like, little things, they're fine. Clothes, yeah. but... Yeah, yeah, and, and this is, again, I think it's a concern about the reporting we've done about potential tariffs that, that the president is undertaking with Chinese goods and other companies, uh, other countries, I should say, mm -hmm. that export items to this country. And we're seeing survey after survey, and the data is showing that folks are not necessarily pulling back on small ticket items, but they're, they're waiting for big ticket items just to see where the dust will settle. Uh, never, never, never a good sign when the psychology changes. I've talked about this before, where most of the economic behavior in this country has to do with psychology. Mm -hmm. So if folks are not feeling that uh, secure or that strong about a particular thing, they'll, they'll pull back. And we're seeing that now with big ticket items, which are like washing machines, mm -hmm. refrigerators, cars, things like that. Okay. And then let's talk about these uh, tariffs in the secondary yeah. markets. Now, you were saying a lot of people are resorting to things like Craigslist yeah. and, and stuff to kind of avoid having getting the tariff. That's interesting. Yeah. It's law of unintended consequences. So if the tariff raises the prices on your primary good, like an automobile, mm -hmm. the used car market actually in this country is flourishing. Mm -hmm. People are buying used cars because you don't have to pay the tariff on the imported vehicle, which is a brand new item. And you had mentioned Craigslist and mm -hmm. other websites, and we're seeing the data showing that more and more people are turning to these sites to make purchases. Now, whether or not it has to do with the tariffs, it's just an, an, a consequence of the policies that are going on now. Generally, prices you're going to begin to see with if these tariffs go through will go up. So folks will tend to look at the secondary market. Mm -hmm. And I will always caution folks, you know, it's one thing to buy some clothing or something on the secondary market, but if it's electronics or big ticket items, you know, yeah. it's always buyer beware. So just be careful when you do that. I know when the things are expensive, I was even just recently looking at jewelry for a yeah. friend, something vintage or something that's a little bit more expensive. And it's, it's a fear. It's like, yeah. I don't know, am I going to get it? When do, who pays right. first? <laughs> you know, how do you do it? And that kind of thing. I know sometimes they have the marketplaces within your own town mm -hmm. where you can actually meet up with the person. Yes. Is that a better but, option? Well, that whole that has a whole nother <laughs> thing. Of does, those, right? Security other risks yeah. and other things like that. But you bring someone with you and all but that. But your yeah. point is well taken where the uncertainty of what may or may not happen is costing you for making that purchase. Mm -hmm. You multiply that across the country and you can see how the economy can slow down and, and less than until these tariff issues resolve themselves. All right. Thanks so much. Steve Buden sure. from the Buden Group. We'll be back after this.